return the kick. Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're bringing back game four of the series. We're going to kick it off to the Bays. Hopefully going to get some stops here soon. He's got Devin Hester as a returner. But we're just going to hope for some fumbles. This, this dude messaged me and said he wanted to go down at the motion, but I told him I was like, nah, don't just give me the win, you know. I, I want to play a real game. This season's going on YouTube. And then he said, all right, I'll, we'll play a full game, get it going. So we got that up and running. And as you can see, he's got Cam Newton as his quarterback. He's got a good wide receiver in course, so we're going to try stopping that. He gets a good curl route to work out for him. What I don't understand about those curl routes, I have the purples there, but I don't know why they just don't jump it anymore. I come up with a user tackle on Darian Sproles. I don't really mind that people have Darian Sproles as their running back, because then I can force some fumbles if I can lay a big hit on him. And just like that, he tests Alec Ogletree over the middle. We got a quick pick off of him. Now, he didn't send me those messages until, like, I think it was, like, a little bit after this drive. And I throw an easy touchdown there, you know. Nah, that was just too easy anyway, but. I don't know. I thought he was being serious. And then, like, it, it, this game actually is a pretty good game. It winds down to the final actual points. I mean, he's just killing me with these curl routes. You know, you see the purples there. I, I'm even doubling up. Because, you know, most of these are out routes. And he tries going deep to Devin Hester. You know, I got that pick. And we end up dropping the pick. But, you know, hopefully, oh, I, that wasn't even Devin Hester. That was his running back. But we definitely know Darren Sproles ain't winning no jump balls. So he tries pounding the rock there. Not much there. Looks like he's going to go deep, Devin Hester here. Yeah, he tries going deep once again. And we got Eric Weddle. But Joe Hayden tips it down. Devin Hester's fast, but he ain't winning no jump balls. Right here, he's got that William Perry in as fullback to that holiday edition. That's kind of cool. You know, I guess he... Of course he's a Bears fan, but... You know, get that fridge up in there. And right here, he gets the Cam Newton scramble. But we end up stopping him to 30 inches. Now, what's he up? I want to do here. Well, we're looking for a quick stop so we can get this ball back. And I, I just left that wide open. That was all on me. I didn't think he was going to run the ball. That was a great play on him. I got to turn this TV down my bad. I was watching ESPN. How not to dunk. Well, it looks like Blake Griffin didn't uh, dunk there. The side of the rim didn't get up there, son. All right, back to back to my video, though. Yeah, I'm going to turn this off, actually. So it's and we're, it looks like I'm going to dump it off San Antonio Holmes. I mean, he... I was happy I brought him back to the Steelers. It's a nice little slot wider receiver to keep dishing off to. Right there, I'm going to run with Russell Wilson. I wanted to slide, but sometimes, like you can see right there, he doesn't want to slide. He goes down. Lucky he didn't fumble there. And we're going to. I could have threw it deep, but, you know, I don't like throwing deep slot wide receivers. Until I get that 99 Moss, and you know, I'm going deep all day. But that costs like 500,000 coins. I'm really far off from that. We're just switching the play. Hopefully he tries to jump it off sides. I don't know. Like I was thinking like if those linebackers are blitzing, are going to drop back. Looks like like one middle drop back and the right one dropped back. Oh, man. Yeah, I got to stop doing these so late. Yeah, I'm thinking for the next season I might try to do some live commentaries and stuff, but, like, then, I don't know, like, you guys got to leave in the comments below 
if you want me to cut up the video and stuff, because then I don't know if I can do live commentary, because you know my voice would be off on some plays. You know, like, it's kind of off sometimes on here. I don't know if you guys notice it too much. But it's only, like, a second or so off. And it's not that big of a deal. And right there, we try to do my little play to Jared Cook. Drops it. Jared Cook doesn't do, do that a lot. But there's only 10 seconds left in the half. We want to get in a touchdown here because we got to kick it up back here to him. So I'm thinking I'm going to run this ball and get it right up in there. I didn't think he was going to get that block, so I was just going to hit it up the middle anyway. But if I would have went outside, I would have got it. So we're going to QB sneak it here. Gain about two yards. Call that quick timeout and QB sneak it once again. You already know I got that touchdown. It's almost impossible to stop the... Right there. He gets a dime tackle and leave him on Bell and trips him up. So we know we're, we're up seven... Seven points. So we just gotta keep keep on the field. We're gonna run this ball and leave you on Bell. His blocker just I don't know. He he was supposed to block that guy, but that guy just came in unblocked. So I mean, I'd rather have him had blocked that guy. And we throw it into coverage. I don't know what I was thinking there. That's a great pick on him. I don't know why I dived there either. But I gotta tackle him. So just like that, like, I don't, I don't understand why some people quit when they're only down a point. Because, I mean, he can change in, like, the matter of seconds. So he's going to run this ball. We're going to see what's going to happen. He, he gets caught on his guy, and, man, just Cam Newton goes in big smoke and starts trucking all my guys. I don't know if he gave that guy a little baby stiff arm or not, but he's going to keep running this option. Deion Sanders comes up, makes the tackle. Just like that. We're hoping Cam Chancellor lays a big old head on somebody. We're going to try something. We end up stripping it, but he gets it back. Thomas was just an inch too slow to dive for that and grab that, but it don't matter. We're just going to hope for a pick or maybe another fumble. Or maybe even a stop. Anything that get us going. Because you know everyone go for those four downs. We, we see he's going to go Devin Hester. I can see like Lawrence Timmons, like I accidentally switched to him and like did a hit stick. It's because I wanted to lay a hit on Devin Hester because usually he can't catch in traffic. And right there we stop him on fourth down. We get ball back so we know we, we got to get a quick playoff because he's going to send a blitz. So we dump it off to Jared Cook, Mr. MVP, JCC. MVP of the season. Unless y'all will leave a comment below if you think Jared Cook's the MVP of this season. Goes in beast mode. Right here, you know, we're just going to clock manage a little bit. We don't want to clock manage too much because I'm up a score. And if I fumble, like, Le'Veon Bell and Trent Richardson do fumble quite frankly frequently for me and right here we're going to throw a quick pass to Emmett Smith and I, man that's why Emmett Smith hit my damn bench he's fumbled more than like he might have fumbled more than my Robert Griffin 80 overall quarterback I started with but we ain't complaining too much we got 47 seconds left to score he kicks his extra point. I throw it deep to Marcus Colston. And I know he's not the fastest, but I mean, that was a lot of space. Alright, so we got 15 seconds. I'm going to run the ball, fake to the outside, fake back to the inside, and cut it in. We're going to use my one of my timeouts. 
We could have kicked a field goal here, but you know, I want to get these yards, get closer, make sure because my uh, field goal kicker is Stephen Hoshka, and it's only like a 77 overall. So we want to make sure I want to line up the field goal perfectly. And right there, I realized, oh man, like as soon as I ran into the back of that dude, I knew I didn't, I wasn't gonna be able to get my timeout. So I was gonna try scoring, but yeah, that 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 was game right there. But now we got to try doing something in overtime. We got to hope he don't get the ball. I end up winning the toss, though, to receive. We're going to start my drive down the field. No, we ain't trying to settle for a field goal. We don't get Randy Moss over the middle. Breaking some tackles, coming up big. His first catch of the game. Now if I had that 9-9 Moss, I'm telling you, I, I'd be using him all day. But that 80 Moss is catching track which just sucks too bad for me to keep wanting to needle it in there. I dare leave y'all bell breaks a nice tackle for us to get. We're, we're about red zone. We're almost getting another 100. 100 yard game with Bell. They switch him out because he got tired. Trent Richardson gets us some nice yards. We're happy about that. You know, we're just trying to not turn the ball over, I guess. That's the best way to say it. So we're going to try running the ball. My dang guard just got pancaked. But that's the only like lineman that's not that high a roll. My center's a 80 overall, Mike Webster, but I think my right guard's like a uh, 70 something chance Warmack. I want to get that uh, David DiCastro 90 something because I, I figure his speed something fast and I want to go back to where I can pull guards for the run, but my guards are too slow. But we come up with the win, and uh, I think we're what? three and one now thanks for tuning in guys and video five will be up actually video six will be up tomorrow thanks for watching guys